Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elio and I'm a PhD candidate in experimental psychology at the University of Oxford. And I'd like to start by saying that faces are probably one of the most used stimuli in emotion research. And recently there's been a shift towards the use of dynamic rather than static stimuli, partly in recognition that the spatial temporal qualities that make up uh, facial expressions uh, actually seem to help observers disambiguate perceptual decisions about those expressions. And we also know from experiments that um, observers seem to hold models uh, to judge spatial temporal qualities of, of moving expressions. Yet, uh, emotional research uh, in general seems to not account for those special uh, temporal dynamics such that they are not quantified in most studies or their effects on the perceptual processes that they, that they intend to measure are also not quantified. And that's essentially what uh, a series of two studies did. The first one, uh, we try to quantify uh, the variability in spatial temporal dynamics of commonly used uh, face stimuli uh, in emotional research, specifically stimuli varying in prototypicality, uh, comparing high and low prototypicality stimuli, but also stimuli generated through morphing, which uh, affects the nonlinear dynamics expected in some uh, expressions. And in the second study, we uh, look to see how those varying spatial temporal dynamics influence perceptual decisions. Um, Basically, in the first study, what we found is that for highly prototypical stimuli, uh, they're actually best described by nonlinear approximations of their time course compared to morphed expressions, but interestingly, also compared to more subtle expressions, to less stereotypical expressions. And uh, interestingly, a lot of those differences clustered uh, in early movement, suggesting uh, that the early uh, uh, patterns of facial movement seem to be more important to distinguish uh, uh, pose expressions from uh, based on their spatial temporal dynamics. And when we look to see how observers are impacted by this, we see that uh, by varying spatial temporal dynamics, we specifically disrupt the representation of intensity uh, of, of the emotion expressed, uh, but also of naturality and, and how well people can recognize uh, certain expressions. And this is more true compared to uh, judgments uh, or ratings of valence that seem to be less impacted by it. We also look to see how this would work in groups of observers that seem to struggle with uh, emotional uh, processing from faces. And we see that actually people with autism, for, for instance, are highly sensitive to the spatial temporal dynamics and they seem to struggle mostly uh, with highly prototypical stimuli. We suggest that they don't necessarily struggle with uh, uh, paying attention to spatial temporal dynamics, but rather with attributing meaning to highly conventional social signals. Um, I'm looking forward to discuss a little bit about this work during the EPS. Thank you.